you're not familiar with the trend, charcuterie boards are a popular way to lay out favorite cold cuts and finger foods. Milkmaid Catering has perfected the art of the display. And look how beautiful this is with curated snacks. Mm -hmm. And you did an amazing job. I mean, I cannot, yeah, I'm just sitting here looking <laughs> at it like. One of my <laughs> favorite Ooh, looks good. things about having them here is yeah. when you have guests, is you guys can snack on them. Yeah. And you, it doesn't really get that messy. So that's no. one thing I. I love about it. Everybody loves a good cheese board, and I think what makes them so great is that you're picking what you like, mm -hmm. and so in the end, everybody tends to be happier and satisfied. So yeah. that's what makes, and it really brings people together. Like there's something communal about coming around mm -hmm. a cheese board, and that's you know part of the business we've kind of planned is really encouraging that connection. And so it, we just love it. Everybody loves cheese. Don't underestimate yeah. how much people love cheese. We, and <laughs> it's important too. I mean, some of us don't necessarily have the aesthetic eye that sure. you do. And this is gorgeous. Thanks. Yeah. And so I'm here just with a couple, you know, really easy, easy to remember tips and tricks at your, when you're home and you're trying to make something for your guests. So first things first guys, and this seems so simple, but most people where they make the mistake is the size of the board they're building on. Mm. Okay. So most of the time we see huge boards like this everybody loves them and they're beautiful right mm -hmm. but imagine making a cheese platter for six on this big board people are gonna be like wah wah and it's expensive right. yeah right. so like yeah. this size board here should feed like 50 to 75 people wow. so if you think of that right like we want to get it tight we want to get it right that's what makes a cheese board look really impressive and so most people go like go big go home we're like mm -hmm. this is probably the right size for like your party of four to six and mm -hmm. so Biggest tip or trick is really be conscious when you're buying and investing in your cheese boards because you want to get the size that's realistic for you. So, True. first tip or trick, okay? Okay, I love this. Second tip or trick is cut the cheese for your people, okay? Mm -hmm. There's something about people when they go to a cheese board and there's a big wedge of cheese and they don't know how to cut it and it like paralyzes people and they're like oh, 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 what do I do with the cheese it gets phobias. yes it gets yeah. very overwhelming and so you know we see all these pictures of these huge wheels of cheese and it does show abundance but it really makes your guests feel overwhelmed mm -hmm. so don't be afraid to cut the cheese um, <laughs> not trying to be funny that's literally what um, yeah. but yeah um, and maybe don't hold that one in yeah <laughs> um, but you know it's it's just important and cheese is, we don't have time to get into it today, but cheese is supposed to be cut in a certain way. And so mm -hmm. it's really nice to do that for your guests so they just can go through the line and enjoy it. Could you show us a trick on how to make those flowers? Yeah, Very absolutely. Quickly. So we call these salami roses, okay? And really the tip or trick is what you want to do is it gives good height and color to your platter. Oh, so imagine gorgeous. you have a, pla a piece of salami, mm -hmm. okay? You're going to want to fold it in half like a taco. Can I try? I mean, absolutely. Yeah, follow along. Yeah. So sure. let's see how long I follow along. Okay, <laughs> so salami into a taco. Okay. And then a taco into a quarter. Oh, it's so, okay. And look at, see, doesn't it look like a petal? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then you put them together? Right. But the oh. tip or trick is you have to give it a wall to stand on, otherwise mm. it's just going to go Okay, oh. so if you're gonna start doing this on your platter, make sure you put it between two items. Like for mm -hmm. an example, I did between cheese and jam. Mm -hmm. That way then it's gonna have a wall that it can stand on and give you height. And I, I love, love that it. this is a really good way too to kind of express your personal style. Some people want to go a little mm -hmm. more rugged. Yes. Some people want to go a little more modern. Yes. And have very clean lines. And, and you know what I tell people when I teach platter making classes and stuff, people feel so overwhelmed with perfection that cheese and fruits and products are beautiful on their own. They are. Right? Yeah. You don't have to cook this to make yes. it look beautiful. So really it's just learning a few little tips and tricks here or there to manipulate the food to make it look really beautiful. Well, and I'm it does. ready Thank for you. a glass of wine and yes. a little bit of a snack, but we're gonna have to wait for a few more hours for that. Oh. Yeah, and we so. do have a couple fun opportunities coming up, like we're doing a Girl Scout cookies and cheese pairing oh. class. Oh. Um, that'll be the 15th of March at Thunder Coffee. We support a little Girl Scout Can troop. Can you invite us out for that? Absolutely, yeah. um, it's a great time. And then also on Friday and Saturday of this weekend, we're doing a pop-up at um, Fargo Brewing Company. Ooh. So you can actually come and get some platters from us, but then also just buy your meats and cheeses, dried fruits, nuts, crackers, all the things you need to make this at home. And oh. we have cheesemongers there that can help you pick and choose. So come oh. say hi. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. I've learned so much. I feel like I'm ready to host a party now. Right. But we have more to come here on the Today Show. Up next, we have Northland Vapors, mm -hmm. uh, and they're going to be joining here with us. Stay with us. Yeah, thanks so much, Megan. Thanks.